Hello friends. Financial parameters are very important when you want to invest into any company. These fundamental parameters and the financial ratios are the one which takes into account whether you should be investing into a company or not. So let us understand one of the financial parameter known as EBITDA margin. Now what is EBITDA? EBITDA is earnings before deduction of interest, tax and depreciation. That means from net sales when we subtract total expenses from that we add back these non-cash items like the depreciation and the expense like the interest. So when we take hold of any company report in the annual balance sheet we will see in the consolidated financial statement that they have taken into account the earnings before interest tax and depreciation when they are preparing the profit and loss statement. So when we deduct total expenses from the total sales and we add back interest and depreciation then that amount that we have is known as EBITDA. Now, to calculate the EBITDA margin, what we need to do is we take that EBITDA which we have just now got with the formula and then we divide it by the total sales in 200. This gives us the EBITDA margin for that particular company. Now, if that EBITDA margin is constantly on a growing path, then we can understand that that company is really very good. But how do we ascertain? For that, we need to analyze the entire sector's company. So that is known as relative valuation. So what do we need to understand is that in that entire sector, is this company that we are choosing, is that EBITDA margin is growing very uh, fine or there are other companies in this same sector which have got better EBITDA margin. So these we conclude from the relative valuation. So today we will do a relative valuation and understand the EBITDA margin of three companies in the FMCG sector. The first company is the Marico, second is the Hindustan Unilever and third is the Britannia Industries, all three in the FMCG segment and then we will analyze whose EBITDA margin is the best. So the best EBITDA margin would make us invest into that particular company. So let us check this out in the Stockage app. In the Stockage app, when we go to the stock section and click on Marico, we go to the fundamental parameters where we have the ratios. Under that ratios, we have the efficiency ratios and under that efficiency ratios we have the EBITDA margin. Now as I said EBITDA is what? EBITDA margin is EBITDA divided by the total sales which we get from the profit and loss statement of any company. So here we see that EBITDA margin for this company is 19.30. Next we move on to another company Hindustan Unilever whereby we check out under the ratios what is the EBITDA margin for this company. So when we check out we see that Hindustan Unilever's EBITDA margin is 21.76. Now we check out on Britannia Industries. So under the Britannia Industries when we check on the EBITDA margin we see that it's 16.70. So for each of these three companies when we conclude that which is the best we come to understand that EBITDA margin of Hindustan Unilever is the highest. So among these entire companies in the same sector Hindustan Unilever is one company which is good on an investment perspective. So in this manner you can understand of all the other companies in the same sector you can analyze and check out and see in which company you want to invest or if you have invested in any company then is that company's EBITDA margin beating its other peers in the same segment or not. Thus you can ascertain whether your investment is good or not. In this manner you can chalk out for many other different ratios. Hope this has helped you out a lot and if you want to know more about this EBITDA margin then what you can do is you can log on to our website 
blog.stockage.com where you'll have in-depth idea about what all EBITDA margin constitutes of and how it can be solved and refill your purpose. Thank you.